it's CT and we are in our dining room and we have something to show you. It's so exciting. We have three monarch caterpillars and two eggs here. Here are the caterpillars. I know you only see two, but the if baby we... Do already. I'm gonna need to... Uh... Wait, I found them. I found them. He's right here on the fresh leaf. How amazing when they get a good focus on them. Yep. This one's the most colorful, the baby one. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna put them down now. So, what's it like caring for these guys? Uh, well, first you have to get some leaves, milkweed. They like milkweed. Oh man, I got some milk. And you have to get some old leaves, medium leaves, and young leaves in case you have like baby then child then grown up and let's give a shout out thank you to nancy yes thank you nancy <laughs> so um what's gonna happen with these guys well we're gonna try to cocoon them and turn them into uh butterflies mm -hmm. We already have two eggs right over there. Oh, yeah. Here, open that up. Okay. We'll have to probably zoom really close on the, on the eggs. I have no idea how to open But these caterpillars are growing so fast. Last night, I kid you not, he's probably grown a third in size. When we got him, he was just about the length of a pinky, a pinky fingernail and so skinny. And he's just chubbed right up overnight. So Nancy also gave us two of these leaves. Yep, they're on the back side. Okay. Let's put them down and I'll zoom in. So Okay, there's two leaves. So I don't know if, you, oh, there we go. So there's two eggs. So these are monarch caterpillar eggs and they will um, hatch and turn into wee baby monarch caterpillars. Then they munch and munch and munch and they poop a whole lot. You have to clean the container out often. Clean out all the poop. And then... Also, they spit silk out at you this, sometimes. They do. And so then after about 14 days, they will pupate or chrysalis, build a chrysalis. And then when they emerge, they will be... See silk right in between. I don't know if you can see yes, the silk. Yes, yes, we can. Yeah, <laughs> they release silk. Yeah, it's really easy to care for them, and I find the life cycle to be quite fascinating. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This one is the biggest I find right now, and the longest. Mm -hmm. So, here's some directions. If you happen to come across the monarch caterpillars, you can take them home and watch them chrysalis. So what you do is you can put them in a Tupperware. Whoa, that silk is long. It is long. So you put them in a Tupperware, and then what you can do is you put a little piece of paper towel in the bottom of it and put a few drops of cold water on it just to keep it moist. Just a lot of silk in them. If you don't have any milkweed, you will have to go find some milkweed and oh, pick it so maybe warm. about every three days because they do die. And it seems like the young caterpillar likes the young leaves. So that's where we put that young one in there. And then we have a medium leaf and a big leaf from the bottom of the plant. And twice a day, you'll have to go in because they will eat a half a leaf in like six hours and they just poop it out. And there's just all these black uh, little poops. And so it's kind of gross. So a couple okay. times a day at least, we clean out the container, throw out all the poop, put in fresh leaves for them to munch. I'm, and I'm fresh paper towel with water. On the table for a while. Yep. And the thing is, is you don't even have to really worry about there being holes on the lid. Because you're opening up the container a few times a day to check, it does provide them with enough oxygen. 
Now, I left the lid off for almost... Oh, look, a sprout. Yeah. I left the lid off for almost two days, not when I was sleeping, but I found they didn't try to exit the container because there's no food outside of the container. They have delicious, oh, look, fresh... Just a minute. You, if you open this and this, there's also a mini sprout in there. There is. But yeah, they don't want to leave the container typically because no, they they're don't. drawn to the milkweed leaves and it's yeah. the perfect environment for them. So we will post another update, won't we? Yeah. As these guys develop and grow. Yeah. One more, one more shot. There's our big guy there. Oh, right, I forgot about this too. Mm -hmm. And there's our little baby. There this he is. is just a little tutorial on how to flip a coin. Okay. Oops. Oh, yeah. Okay. 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 So here's how you flip a coin. So you put your thumb in here, close it, put a coin on top, and then when you're ready, just... Nice. It's CT signing off.